Is this a good time to buy? Should you wait for the prices to come down? Will the mortgage rates improve? Some of our clients say that they're waiting for the prices to come down. Well, the prices are not coming down. According to CoreLogic, Zillow, FHFA, Case Schiller, and several other financial institutions, it is quite the opposite. The prices are going up. We're down by about 2.3% from the very peak in, by Q1, and that's about to change. We're expecting about a 5 to 6% market appreciation in 2023. And what actually inspired this video is a live video memory that popped up on our Facebook timeline. Let me show you guys. In 2020, we sold this incredible unicorn property and we went live. It's in a beautiful neighborhood. It's really and here you see Michonne and I telling you about what a unicorn property that was. It's not going to last long. If you're curious to see the actual video, you could follow me on Facebook and check that out. But what's important about this video is that in 2023, this property was considered a steal for the current market. It closed at 319.9. It is a three bedroom, two bathroom, 1,440 square feet in the same hurricane neighborhood as this listing that we just sold in 2023, last month. Same square footage, same number of bedrooms and bathrooms. And in the last three years, it appreciated all the way up to 440,000. So somebody that was waiting for the market to crash, and there were so many market experts that were saying that 2020 prices were not sustainable and they were going to bubble and they were going to come down, has been proven wrong because that's about a $100,000 discrepancy from what we saw in 2020. And I will link both the listings in the description below so you guys can check them out. But there are three large reasons why the home values in Washington County and much across the US are not coming down. Here are the reasons why I think we're seeing what we're seeing, and I feel like these reasons are pretty obvious, but the top three reasons why we won't see the prices come down in Washington County are the inventory literally everywhere is super low and it isn't getting any better anytime soon because the sellers are less incentivized to sell and then buy something later only to sign up for a higher mortgage. And the builders are being very cautious because the market activity overall has slowed down. The state of inflation isn't getting any better. How was your last grocery store trip or the trip to the gas station or any time you pulled out the wallet? I personally feel like the 100 is the new 20. Despite anything that the Fed tells us, I do not feel that they have the grip on inflation and they're not going to anytime soon. Inflationary cycles like this do not resolve themselves quickly. Southern Utah is still one of the most desirable destinations for people to move to, so the demand here is really, really high. I personally feel that now more than ever, American dream of home ownership is at risk. It is literally in danger. Average annual salary in the US as of 2023 is about $87,000, and I feel that that creates a tremendous wage gap because at that wage, you're only able to afford about $300,000 worth of home and pretty much anywhere coast to coast, 300K in 2023 gets you into a condo or a town home at best. Sub $300,000 price range in Southern Utah certainly does not get you much. And I'm about to dive into that. And we're gonna talk about some of the numbers that are specific to Southern Utah, just so that you guys are up to date. I'm curious to see what are your thoughts? What does the future hold? Do you feel that home ownership is going to become nearly impossible for the average American family because of this insane wage to price gap? If you're waiting for the rates to come down, that's a different story. But don't forget that you can buy now and refinance when the rates come down. Let me explain what I mean by that. I feel that right now there's actually a decent and possibly the last opportunity for a lot of the homeowners to become homeowners. And of course, some of you may chime into the comments and say, you realtors just try to sell houses. Don't try to force me into something I can't afford. You should see some of the comments in our videos. But my first and foremost word of advice, don't ever buy anything you cannot afford. Only buy it if you can reasonably afford the payment and then hopefully you could refinance it in the future and get an even better deal and walk into even more equity. Well, let's take a look at some of the numbers that we have right here in Washington County that may be instrumental to figuring out what things will look like. So the month of May, is now in the books and it looks like i just want to point out a couple of things to you guys i'm not going to bore you with numbers so may of 2023 
there was a substantial improvement with the overall total inventory that we have. Our absorption rate is at 3.94 months of supply, almost four months of supply. Average list price is at 868,000, which is down by about 4% from 2022. Average sale price is at 515,000, which is down by 7.7%. I feel that this is probably it. I mean, this is the drop that we're going to experience. What makes this scenario more challenging if you're shopping on the entry level is that if we look at the total volume of our inventory, so on here, you can see all the listings. This is the segment of inventory that has listings from 50,000 all the way to 499,000. And it accounts for a total of less than about 100 sold listings. So if you're shopping for a home in Washington County, starting from 550 and up, you're going to see the largest amount of inventory and therefore get the best deal because some of those homes are sitting on the market. But if you happen to be shopping below 400, and if we look at this section right here, there, are, there were only 24 listings that were sold. And total number of listings that went under contract in in particular from 300 to 350 was about 30 and if we look a little bit further you will see that total number of active listings in that price range was not very much at all compared to the rest of the total market and the grand total of listings was at 1180. The total number of active listings in Washington County in the month of May was just 1180, which is still about half of what this county is typically used to. But folks, things are starting to sit in the market a little bit longer because a lot of people are just not certain on what they want to do. They're maybe waiting for the prices to drop, which as we established, I do not see happening. Mortgages may still fall, but you will greatly benefit by buying now and refinancing later in the future. Maybe you're just dead in your tracks because you have no idea what you qualify for, or maybe you've dealt with a few lenders that were less than accommodating. Reach out to me today. We have a number of great local lenders that will be able to solve even the most complicated scenario and get you qualified and approved to purchase a home right now before things begin to rally again and the dream of home ownership will pass you by. Reach out to me, give me a call, shoot me a text, Depending on which platform you're watching this on, DM me. My phone is always on me. And if you're looking to start shopping for homes, check out our website. It's housesinsaintgeorge.com. It's a completely free resource. It has all of the active listings that are currently available in our MLS market. There is a super convenient search bar, so you can start your search today. And if you run into any questions in the process, Give me a call, shoot me a text, and I will see you in the next one. In America, in America.